Hello and welcome back to my channel. Subscribe below. Alright, so today we are doing our colors, painting the vessels. Since last video, you guys seen that it did not really work out well when I put the acrylic paint into the mixture. So today I'm going to actually paint over them. I'm only painting over a few, so I don't have the whole entire collection I'm showing you, but I'm just showing you how it's done. So I'm going to start with putting my gypsum paint. This is Pasta of Paris. Get at any Home Depot. I'm going to add my bare acrylic paint, pink, and I'm going to add the black. Now I want a dusty rose color. Not exactly like a pink, but snow bunny pink, I would guess, but I want something a little dusty rose, a little classic, a little vintage pink. That's what I'm going for. Alrighty, so after I've mixed, 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 and I added a little bit of water. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my vessels. Now I'm doing a gold trim with the same paint. I'm doing a full on color. As you can see before what it looks like, it had this little light pink color, too light and pastel-y for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. And this paint really gives it a really nice matte finish. And as you can see, just the first coat alone is giving a really good saturation. And it's only going to need about two coats. And all you need to do is just get Bear's sample paints online, order it, it goes to a Home Depot near you, and that's exactly how that went. And I try to get ones that are closest to what I was looking for. And this is what I got and I still ended up having to mix colors still because it's not perfect. And even in my mixing of colors, it's still not <laughs> super perfect, but it looks just fine to me. And as you can see, I did masking tape and my battery had died. So now we're on to the yellow color. My battery died mid filming and I didn't, probably didn't even realize it. So let's show you how it's done with the golden yellow color that I'm looking for. I'm looking for more like a golden rod color than anything. Not really too mustardy, but just have that little autumn touch to it. And it's a year round color besides autumn. But I really like that color yellow. Now the color yellow I did purchase was close to it, but not close enough. So I needed to add a bit of brown to it to get it to that color that I want. I'm using like a cocoa chocolate brown and I think burnt sienna works as well too. But since I have bears, I'm going to use that. And I guess next time I'm going to have to better achieve this color. So I'm adding more brown. And really you can use any acrylic paint. I'm just using bears because um, I'm noticing that bears you usually just need one coat and it gets the painting really clearly done for you. And you can see it's giving me a very smooth finished texture. Now you won't really see brush strokes when you, with this mixture. It gives it a nice smooth finish. But once you, I added sealant, that's when the brush strokes really started showing. So. I wish it was just like a liquid so you can just pour on it and be done. Alright, on to my coaster. Now wait for I do this in between drying, so I put the first coat, I let it dry a little bit, because then I'm just mixing the paint against what it dries, and you really don't want to do that. So just put it aside, let it dry after that first coat, and if you feel like you need to put more then two you can 
just make sure your consistency is a bit um, liquidy not too liquidy I guess like a it feels like it still feels like as long as it still feels like paint Here is my fully my before color. I'm gonna add this color to the vessel. I'm just painting right over it. I really wanted to see how these look. And yellow is a very transparent color, so I wouldn't be surprised if you need three coats for it. Because every yellow I've ever used, colors have their opacity and their transparency. And therefore, yellow is one of those transparent colors. So it might need three coats. I see I just move on and let it dry after that first coat. I tell you, you do not want to just keep coating even though it's not dry. It's really a waste of time. As for the gold trim, I'm masking it up, measuring it. I'm doing it an inch from the bottom. And I'm marking where I'm going to tape it up so I can uh, paint that portion. And it's really that simple. And the only thing is you need to make sure that tape, when you go around, it reaches that same, that measure, that same exact spot. Because you don't want it to look too uneven. I mean, it's a handmade product. It's not going to be perfect, but you don't want it to be obvious. mask up like the uh, the hexagonal one it's gonna it's not gonna be perfect circles are very hard <laughs> to work with it's not gonna be perfect I'm just bring it around town bring it around town there it goes I think I got it and paint I like doing these all at once so I can get like that one consistent color or just have to come back and get a different slightly varied color because every time you do these it's gonna be a slight variation color especially if you're mixing all the time and if you get the exact colors you don't have to worry about that color variation but if you're me and I had to put that brown in that it may look more golden right next time. It may not, it may look a little pastel yellow. It, it really depends. Your vessels are gonna have air bubbles. Um, there's no 100 way, 100% 100 way to avoid air bubbles. They're just gonna be there. So if you can see there's a little dot there, that's because that's an air bubble. And cemental, concrete, it happens. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a very nice yellow color. But when I tell you I'm looking for that goldenrod color, I, I'm a visionary, okay? I see something in my head, I want it in. I want to see it happen. I want to see it appear. I'm going with the second coat. As you can see, the second coat is pretty much all left that I need. And I put that away and go to the next one. And the bigger the brush you use, the less um, brush strokes you'll have. This might need a third coat simply because that spot is still showing. This one's already looked like the first coat did it justice. You 
can paint the bottom, totally up to you. But I believe I painted the bottom on these. It has this really professional look. It's crazy. And putting in that plastic of Paris is just, when I found out that you can mix that to make like chalk paint, I love the finish of chalk paint. I was like, I have my formula. It's official. It was that transparent pink color I was talking about. So this one specifically might need a second coat, third coat. Some of them do and some of them don't. I don't remember why. You know, I filmed these between the voiceover and filming. It'd probably be like a month or two apart. So I probably don't remember why. It, some of them showed thinner than the others. Or I probably didn't know why. I painted pretty much all of them the sage the teal I pretty much painted over what I already had and here are some pictures of what I've done you guys didn't get to see me put the gold on it but there it is and here's my other hexagonal ones and subscribe for more more is coming